Anybody here, this is a call for repentance. This is a call for you to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Jesus love you. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got a Bible, brother? Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Let me give you let me give you a gift. Let me give you a gift. Wear this proudly in the Lord Jesus Christ's name. Yeah. Wear it this way. Yeah. Please. Make sure the name Jesus is facing outward. My, uh, Amen. There you go. No, no, no. You, you got it backwards. <laughs> we want people to see Jesus' name. There you go. This yeah. way. There you My, go. Uh, father, Father, come. I need more. Yes. Fa father. You want, you want. Thank you. How many more? Five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Amen. Jesus' yeah. name. Jesus. If there's anyone here today, Yeshua ibn Allah. This is a disclaimer. This video that you are about to watch is not for monetization or entertainment use. Instead, this content is being used for documentational and educational purposes only. All footage is original and filmed on location in compliance with the court of law in regards to filming in the public. I've been called to be selfish. There are many Bible verses. There's a lot of movement in this parking lot today. And the reason why we should never be selfish. In this world today, people are selfish about everything. What they say is that they are minding their business. When you see people who are in need and you refuse to do anything to help them, even when you have an abundance, you are not minding your business. You are just being selfish. It is not the nature of God to be selfish Amen. if you are a child of God. You should never allow selfishness in your life. You think the Do you believe in the rapture? A little thing to handle. Many people no. have had this kind of call too. I have to and ask, you know. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. God, we God, 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 the business Yo, bro, of this man broke. People think that people you may think, think selfishness is a little thing that you can solve for him. It is something that if you, you read can make the word one of God, you, you search the word of God. Image of God. Ephesians 5, 1 through 15. God is our Father. Our so you can know father. God just told just me, show him that you can tell us. Yeah. Characteristics and genes to their children. God does that also. To his children. children. And this Mine might be surprising to you, but of God, look, look, look as dear face. children. Now I'm watching and this lady over here. here. As Christ People. also has loved us, has given himself an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet The holy people in oh, hold on, hold on. some here. Then I wish to know the exact meaning of the fourth beast, which was different from all the others, extremely dreadful, with teeth of iron and claws of bronze, which devoured, crushed, and trampled down what was left with its feet, and the meaning of the ten horns kings that were on its head and the other horn which came up later and before which three of the horns fell he said that the okay. boy told them okay, i want to be like god because he's as i kept looking that horn was making war with the saints believers and overpowering them until the ancient of days came and judgment was passed in favor of the saints of the most high god and the time arrived when the saints believers took possession of the kingdom like a limited man this is what we Christians should be aiming for. Ephesians 5.1 made us understand that we may become like God. It says, imitate yeah. God. There, there's going to be tribulation, saints. You because you are his dear children. We need to imitate God. Not because we are servants. Um, not because we are slaves. Hold on, let me show you something. Not because of any other thing. But tribulation is, 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 we carry his the great tribulation is a rap period. We are made in his image. Genesis God's wrath. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5 9, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. 1 Thessalonians 1 10. Revelation 6 17 says that by the time of the sixth seal judgment, God's wrath has already begun, and Revelations 15 1 indicates that the bowl judgments will complete God's wrath. The seventh bowl is poured out at the end of Revelations 16, before the second coming. And don't forget, the Great Tribulation is the last half of Daniel's 70th week, and is the time during which the bowl judgments are poured out. So it would be correct in saying that the wrath of God covers just about all of Daniel's 70th week. 
Whereas the Great Tribulation is just the last half, if you do a word study on 1 Thess 1.10, you will see it promises that Jesus will rescue the church from both the time and the place of God's wrath in a manner that requires our prior departure. If so, the church has to be gone before the seal judgments begin. And sure enough you can see the church in heaven in Revelations 5, singing the song of the redeemed. No other group can fit the description given in Revelations 5, 9 to 10. But, 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 but so but God created it. mankind in his image. A lot of people are going to come out of the image of God, bro. he created them. Oh yeah. Male or Let me see. What is God saying about me? What is my relationship with God? It is true that the Bible says, whosoever comes to God, he will in no wise I'm with the first away. Thessalonians. We can truly come to God the way we are, <laughs> but we can never <laughs> follow God the same way. You go, you can go Jesus to said that book in the anyone book. who will follow him must deny himself first, take up his Then I'm going to go somewhere in the, in the New Testament. This means that our walk with God requires... Oh, so this so onion, these onions. Listen, onion. listen to this. It's titled, to The Day of the Lord. Right. Starting with number one. Now, brothers and sisters, about the times and dates, we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night, while people are saying peace and safety, sudden destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You, not in darkness. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who are asleep, sleep at night. And those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see that part? And in some cases, for God did not appoint us to suffer to say wrath. To those old friends that encourage those so, old now that we saw that, now we got to go to Genesis. A new light and continue to and this is just some of the many verses. Chapter 18, that it may minister verse 25. The heroes. But then the Lord, this is verse 20. Must accompany our then the Lord said, The outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great, and their sin so grievous, that I will go down and see if they have done what they have done as bad as the outcry that has reached me. If not, I will know. The men turned away and went towards Sodom. But Abraham remained standing before the Lord. Then Abraham approached him. Come to Christ as a Abraham and approached him, right? Him he said, Will you sweep you away the Christ righteous the with the wicked? You cannot come to Christ Remember, as a First Thessalonians? We have not been appointed to wrath. Abraham asked the question, Will you sweep away the righteous with the wicked? What if there are 50 righteous people in the city? Right? Will you sweep it away and not spare? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to kill the righteous with the wicked, treating the righteous and the wicked alike. Far be from you. Will not the judge of all the earth do right? So if the, if we were appointed to go through the tribulation, then God would have rebuked Abraham. But he says, the Lord said, if I find 50 righteous in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place. You still hold on to your old habits. You know, the Bible talks about us suffering. It's right now. It's right now. Guess what? Back in the year 2020, I went to jail for doing this. I've been arrested two times for doing this. Neither the things that are in the world. People have tried to kill me for doing this. That's why I wear a vest. People have tried to kill me. Is not in him. That's the suffering. That is in the world. Jesus said, take up your cross and follow him. That rich man wanted to, he had to turn around and be like, world. And the world I don't know if I can do that because I got so much cool stuff. You know. So here in two sections of the Bible, it shows us that God, and this is many more sections, but this is just the two that I'm pointing out to you. There are many places in the Bible where God didn't have the righteous with the wicked together. Here you go. 
He does not commit any suit. We're going to be called up to the air, brother. It's the same as the Lord's. Many believers trivialize what matters to the heart of God. Revelation 3.10. I forgot that one to give to you. Remember Revelation 3.10? He says, since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole earth to test the inhabitants of the earth. Jesus said he's going to keep were men and women that were in active services. Look, it's right there. They proved to be diligent in their personal business. So God found them I will keep you from the hour. David, the hour when God is the great the tribulation. So there's three locations in the Bible. Spiritual activities. Genesis 18, 25, 1 Thessalonians 5. Ignorance. And I forgot the other verse. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, having the God will Bring us out of here. The life of God, Satan the ignorance that is in them wants to destroy us. The of their heart. Antichrist cannot be ignorance revealed until the church the is removed. Role in the realm of the we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. Of God and the, the Holy Spirit has to return. From you are all Jesus said, destroy your walk with him. A The Comforter will come. Can alienate one the Counselor the will come. He came Paul on the day of Pentecost. Of right? He knew it is the same as spiritual God is going to call and he come up here and the church is going to be removed and then that is when they're going to move Acts of Freemasons if you see a Freemason again no 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 listen listen I know that that's true that's true they believe in Lucifer being the light it shows how acts a Freemason what the rapture is ignorance they will tell you we're waiting to they're not waiting like we are waiting to get caught up. They're waiting so that they can go and do what they want to do. We have to leave here. So we're waiting for that trumpet call. If you go look at Revelation chapter 4, you'll see John says, Then I was caught up in the spirit. Believers become ignorant when they fail. So that catching away begins by studying the word of God. When we when we leave here, rejecting the knowledge because it's all about watching. Remember the virgins? Remember the ten virgins, five fools? Five five fools That's a play on the rapture as well. We are when darkness everyone fell asleep and breaking loose but the yoke of ignorance. Then it was a call at midnight. We live in an age of the, an, the, the, the virgins we live that had their lamps the trimmed world is covered with went in right. to the marriage. One of the reasons the ministry when we get into heaven, there is going to be a a a is because believers a, are ignorant a, uh, of what the word of God a feast. Says. First, we're going to be. Jesus is not going to come down to the ground first. He's going to stand in the cloud. That's right. And we're going to come up to be on the cloud with him. And then at the end of the tribulation, he's going to return. And the Bible says that the sword is going to come out of his mouth. A sharp sword. And we're going to be on with him. Yes, we're going to be with him. Following with him. And then he's going to set up that kingdom. God dislikes it. Remember what he said to the guy? He's like, uh, if you're king, why haven't your servants uh, come and attack? And he says, Pilate answered. I am not a Jew, am I? Your own people and their chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done that is worthy of death? Jesus replied, My kingdom is not of this world nor does it have its origin in this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would be fighting hard to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not of this world. For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory and majesty of his Father with his angels. And then he will repay each one in accordance with what he has done. What bothers if this God was my kingdom, you, my servants would be fighting for you. He said, he said, he you said, as a child of God, God cannot be indifferent angels. about matters yes. in the world right. that father God. When, when Peter, when, in the Garden of Many Christian believers are when only after uh, what they will get from when, when, when God and not the, uh, what God would have them do. Yeah. 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 That is a and parasitic relationship. Yes. You know what that represented? Indifference means that we do not take the things of God seriously. The ear was cut. We are indifferent when we walk with God. The Jews when things are rosy and were not cut off. There was something that happened with the ear being cut relating to the Jewish, to the Jewish nation, the, the Jews. In season right. and but one day, they're going to realize that the Messiah was Jesus Christ. People don't get faith in God because God rescued them. They get faith in God hearing his word. Indifference to the things so. of God will disrupt our yeah, relationship that's, that's with my, him. That's my father. God wants Amen. us to put him bro, I, listen. He wants us to put him first and prioritize Amen. him in our lives. God will only honor those that honor him. He will despise hey, those bro. that love him. Times two. Yeah. You 
are the ones to determine the quality of your it's a shame so many God. people's hearts God are cannot fail as a fail no no thing we do would we like we 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 as we as we pray for first class Amen. So that God that God will be Yes. Because you know what? The at, at, at some point in time, in our, our life, there was a veil on our eyes. But oh, guess yeah, what? Absolutely. And, 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 and God removed. Yep. You know, the guess what? God, God bless you, sir. Second Timothy Thanks. 4 6. Are you a believer in Jesus Christ? Oh, I love you. Amen. Yep. That's why he came over here. But after their own lusts, shall they keep. Jesus is your savior. <laughs> I had a personal revelation from Christ. Amen. That it is a gospel that See, enemy is always distracting. Phone calls, everything. But before I proceed, hello. Yo, dude, being rich is not a sin. But there are job over there talking to the guys. If you like what you see, like, share or subscribe. Thanks for watching. This ministry has been ordained by Pastor Sandy Armstrong and Pastor Benjamin Davis, residing under the leadership of Soldiers for Christ Global Community Church 3048, East Anaheim Street, Long Beach, California, 90804.